Hello, this is a tutorial on how to replace the screen in an HP DV6T 7000 notebook. Uh, this specific uh, tutorial is upgrading the low resolution uh, WXGA screen to a WUXGA screen that I got from laptopscreen.com, which got here super fast in like two days. It was awesome. Um, Alright, so this is your laptop. Got it closed right now. We'll be opening that in a second. And of course, you're going to have to have a replacement screen. Uh, you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Get most of the screws and then um, some kind of prying tools or an X-Acto. So you want to just have all those at the ready. Okay, so the first thing is make sure it's not plugged into the wall. Obviously, you don't want any power running through the device when you do this. Um, and then you want to remove the battery by sliding that switch over and pulling it out. Flip it open. And there's two things we have to do in order to get to the screen. One is we have to remove or peel back this decorative strip here that has the logo and appears to be a speaker grill. Uh, this is actually a sticker that you peel back, and then there's four screws underneath it. And then there are four screws that are actually holding the screen on, but under the bezel. This plastic piece facing you when you're looking at the computer around the edge is called the bezel, and it covers up the method of attaching the screen uh, to the frame, you know, so it looks nice. Um, so we're going to have to take that off, and that's going to be the hardest part is going around the edge with a uh, prying tool in order to loosen it and then remove that. Uh, and it's just kind of clicked in there. So I'm just trying to get a corner the sticker pried up. I'm kind of using an X-Acto right now. There we go. Reportedly, you can use some rubber cement to stick this back down. So as you can see, I got one half of it up there. There's one screw here next to the logo on the inside, and there's one screw here on the outside, and that's the same uh, on the opposing side as well. There are four tiny screws here. Uh, the outside edge ones, at least on my laptop, are chrome or nickel, and the inner ones are actually have a black coating. Uh, the, the inner ones are actually a shorter um, shaft length. So you don't want to get those confused with the outer ones. So now we need to pry the bezel off. You have to wedge these things between the silver and black parts of this frame and kind of pry all the way around in order to loosen it before you then try to kind of unclick and pull off the whole thing at once. So I've had better success with having it like this kind of in a acute L shape and then kind of just jamming in the exacto like almost horizontally until it hits the back and then popping it like that it has seemed to work better. Um so got that side done. Let's do this side. Oh yeah, this is way better. You also get a sense for like how spaced apart the little clips are. Um, and once you figure that out, you kind of need to target that distance for how frequently you're jamming this thing in there and try to separate it more accurately. You can hit those clips' little locations. The smoother this is going to go for you. Done all the sides. Now, here the back is the hardest part. So, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm doing it on the back here. Same process. Jam it in on the edge of the silver. And pop. Okay, so we got that all the way around. 
Okay, so I'm kind of peeling around the edge. Um, there's some kind of adhesive. finger under there you can get a feel for uh, how it's stuck on and it seems to be just some kind of tape working my finger in from that side oh, hey -o. it's definitely popping and coming apart this is not for the faint of heart Let's just say that. Whew, okay. So the bezel is out. And that speaker just kind of came out of place. So you can kind of just push it right back in. Aha. There are four screws that hold the screen in. On the corners, there's a little metal tabs that pop, stick out from the screen, and there's little black screws holding those little metal tabs down. Should be fairly obvious. Uh, this is the point at which, if you intend to reuse this screen or have it as a backup, you really don't want to jam it with the screwdriver, so don't do that. This is the last one, screw number four. We're going to want to get some kind of towel-like action happening over the keyboard to protect the screen when we fold it down. And here's an important part. When you go to start pulling out the screen, apparently the webcam cable is kind of glued to the back side of the screen. So you got to be careful to remove it slowly and kind of peel off the webcam cable as you go. And yep, there it is. It's kind of glued here at the top. It's also glued down at the bottom here. And it's actually attached to the 40 pin connector that connects to the screen. So you got this little gold connector here that connects to the display and there's a piece of tape. You need to get that piece of tape fully up before we can remove the 40 pin connector. Okay, so uh, the tape is attached to this tiny little golden bar which pops up. You lift the bar, it's actually not a golden bar, it's silver. But you lift it up and then you just slide this puppy back. And there we go. We are disconnected, people. So, now, old display is completely detached. Yup. So I'm gonna stick it back in the bag that the new one came in. To protect it for the future, in case something should happen to my new display and I need to go back to the old one. So now, new display. Order of business at hand. Okay, so there is tape here and here that is holding on some sort of protective plastic thingy, technical term. Okay. So now, new screen goes face down in approximately the same position as the old one. Surprise, surprise. Okay. And the little bar, lift it up, slide in the 40 pin connector until it appears to fully mate and all that jazz. And we got a big, bright, and otherwise blank screen, kids. So. Looks like that means I need to call the HP parts department because apparently this cable is just not getting this display the information that it needs. To be continued.